Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about the extended transition function of NFA without empty moves. Normal transition function gives the transition of finite automata for a single input symbol. Whereas extended transition function gives the transition of finite automata for a string of input symbols. In case of NFA without empty moves, output of extended transition function is the set of possible states in which the machine or NFA could be after reading the given string of input symbols from the given present state of NFA. Now suppose see this here the output of extended transition function of a NFA without empty moves for present state Q1 and a string of input symbols W is sat A, right? A is the set of all possible states in which NFA without empty moves could be after reading the string W from state Q1. <coughs> Now, see one more thing. How we can find the transition of a set of states for a single input symbol? Suppose there is a set of states and we have to find out the transition of this set of states for a single input symbol then what will we do we will apply that single input symbol individually to each state of that set and then we will take union of them <clears throat> for example see in this case suppose there is a set of n states q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 up to qn now we have to find out the transitions of this set of states we have to find out the transition of this set of states for input symbol A. Then what will we do? We will apply A individually to each state of this set. We will apply A to Q1. We will apply A to Q2. We will apply A to Q3. So on up to Qn. We will apply A to Qn also. And then we will take union of all of them. Right. <clears throat> now see this NFA. We have to find out the output of, of extended transition function for present state Q1 and a string of input symbols 0, 1, 1. So first of all we will apply the, the first input symbol of the string 0, 1, 1 that is 0 to the present state Q1. When we apply 0 to the present state Q1, what would be the result? Here Q1 has two transitions for input symbol 0. It can either go to state Q2 or remain in state Q1 for input symbol 0. So here the output of transition function for present state Q1 and input symbol 0 will be a set of states that is having two states q1 and q2 now apply the second input symbol of the string 0 1 1 that is 1 to this set of states when we apply 1 to this set of states that is a set having two states q1 and q2 then what will we do first we apply 1 to state q1 then we apply 1 to state q2 and we'll take union of both of them when we apply 1 to state q1 
we will get a set having one state that is Q2 because from Q1 there is only one transition for input symbol 1 that is to state Q2 when we apply 1 to state Q2 from when we apply 1 to state Q2 see here from Q2 for input symbol 1 we have two transitions one to state Q1 and other is to state Q2 so when we apply 1 to state Q2 we will get a set of two states that is Q1 and Q2 now take union of these two states when we take union of these two states we will get a set of two states that is Q1 and Q2 right now apply the third input symbol of the string that is 1 to this set of states so when we apply 1 to this set of states q1 and q2 we will get a set of states having two states q1 and q2 so the output of the extended transition function for the present state q1 and uh, string of input symbols 0 1 1 will be a set of two states that is having two states q1 and q2 now see now suppose there is an nfa without empty moves whose uh, initial state is q0 now the output of extended transition function of that nfa for the present state q0 and a string of input symbols w is a set a right so the set a will be a set of all possible states in which nfa can be after reading the string w from state q0 here q0 is the initial state of nfa now if a contains any final state of nfa then this string w will be accepted by this nfa now we will check that whether the string 0 1 is accepted by this nfa or not so what will we do we will apply this string 0 1 to its initial state q0 so what we have to do we have to find out the output of extended transition function for initial state q0 and uh, string of input symbols 0 1 right so when machine is in state q0 and reads input symbol 0 it has two options either it can stay in state q0 or it can jump to state q1 so the output of transition function for state q0 and input symbol 0 would be a set of states having two states q0 and q1 right now apply next input symbol of the string to this set of states right so how we will find the transition of set of states for input symbol we will apply this input symbol individually to each state of the set we will apply 1 to state q0 we will apply 1 to q1 and then we will take union of them when we apply 1 to q0 we will get a set of states having only one state that is q1 because from q0 there is only one transition for input symbol 1 that is to state q1 when we apply 1 to state q1 we will get a set of two states q1 and q0 because from state q1 there are two transitions for input symbol 1 it can either stay in state q1 or it can jump to state q0 so in this case the output of transition function would be a set having two states q0 and q1 now take union of them their union would be a set having two states that is q0 and q1 now 
C. Output of this extended transition function is a set having two states Q0 and Q1. Now see the output of extended transition function in this case is a set of two states Q0 and Q1 where Q1 is the final state of NFA. So this string 0 1 will be accepted by this NFA. Thank you very much.